Hi guys, welcome to another video with me, Rian Kays, your host. Today we're going to be looking at batteries and more specifically, we're going to be having a look at Canon's LP-E6 batteries. Now here we've got three batteries. We've got a generic battery, we've got the famous Canon LP-E6 battery and then we've got the newer version which is called the LP-E6N battery. Well, how can we distinguish the differences between these batteries? Well, very simple. If you have a look at the first generic battery, the word Lion Battery Pack is on top of this battery. Now, most generic batteries got this exact same wording on there. Not all of them, but most of them. Um, on the original Canon batteries, you can see the Canon logo, but as well as we, if we turn the Canon batteries around, we'll see that there's a Canon logo at the back of them. There's the logo as well as there. And if we turn the generic battery around, you can actually see that there's no logo whatsoever on it. Also, you'll see on the LP E6, it's got the word exactly there, right next to the word battery pack, LP hyphen E6. So this is the E6 model. And um, the E6N, it's got right underneath the Canon logo, model LP hyphen E6N. The differences between these two batteries is the one's got 1,800 milliamps with 13 watts per hour, and the E6N's got 65 milliamps more, it's got 1865 milliamps with 14 wattage an hour. Let's quickly put these batteries in the charger and I'll show you how to distinguish which battery is a faulty one. Let's start with the, the LPE6N battery. You see there's an arrow on the battery, so that arrow should point the same way as that one. So line it up, run about there, clip it in, and you'll see it starts to flash. Now you give it a few seconds and it will this one immediately goes to fully charge. There's a solid green light, it means a solid light. This is what this line means under the 100%. This means that this is a fully charged battery. We can actually remove that one. Let's take the LPE6 battery. Line it up again, put it in, give it a few seconds, and you see it actually start getting a rhythm. One, two, three. One, two, three. Three blinking lights means it's 75% charged. So we keep that on for a little while, it will go fully charged, and then, we, then it will make a solid green light as the E6N, and then we can remove this one. On the generic one, just turn that one right way around, put it in, we give it a few seconds, and you can actually see it continues to flash without any rhythm whatsoever. And that's how we know that this is a faulty battery. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or any videos you'd like us to do, please do comment in the section below. Take care. Cheers.